Here's a demonstration of skill one from Microsoft Word chapter one in the Microsoft in the Skills for Success with Microsoft Office 2016 volume one. All right, so this is probably going to be the most boring of possible videos because it's basically about typing. So you get to watch me type here. It's exciting. Um, first off, before we get started with that, uh, the one button that is pointed out in this lesson is this button right here which is to show and hide copy editing symbols. And so if you click it, it it's, a, it's a basically a toggle switch. It's on and off, okay? And so if you click it, you see this little mark, and this is a copy editing symbol that means there's a paragraph. So if you hit enter, there's another paragraph. There's another one, there's another one, all right? And so these marks are always there in Microsoft Word, but they're normally hidden. They're always non-printing, but they're also normally hidden from the screen, so you don't see them. So why does it exist? Well, it's handy when you want to see what a formatting, what the formatting looks like, including the invisible, um, the invisible pieces, like the hard return when you hit the enter key, the space bar, the tab button. You wouldn't normally see see anything but spaces, so you wouldn't know if they hit the space bar or if they hit the tab key, for instance. And if you, so, if you hit this um, this button right here, it will allow you to see uh, if which button was pressed, even if it's an invisible symbol. All right, so that was skill num uh, that was that was uh, item number one and two. And then uh, item number three is just to, to add in some text here. So Aspen <clears throat> Falls Human Resources. The idea here is we're writing a letter um, and we're pretending that we are uh, employees for the Aspen Falls City Hall. So it asked us to put in that line, hit enter to go to the next line, 500 South Aspen Street. Uh, Aspen Falls, California, 93463. All right, and then it asks to hit enter twice. And so purposely, we're leaving a blank line in between the uh, return address and the date, which is listed in the assignment as May 8th, 2018. So you'll notice uh, you can see these dots in between the words. That dot uh, represents the, the space bar. And if I turn off the toggle switch, it goes, it disappears as well. It's an invisible symbol. Okay, and then we're supposed to hit enter a total of three times uh, before we continue on and we type in the to address, which is Dr. George Gatto, Aspen Falls Community College. Little preview of the next lesson. Why is this underlined in squiggled red? Okay, so that so uh, that's a teaser. See if you can figure it out before the next lesson. One College Drive, um, Aspen Falls, California. Nine three four six four. Okay, and then we start our letter. Uh, with um, Dear Dr. Gatto. Colon. Subject. City Hall Internships. Here's an aside. You, you may have heard that after a uh, colon, you enter two spaces, or maybe even after a sentence, you enter two spaces. You don't need to do that anymore. The, the software takes care of it for you. So you only need one space between those kinds of elements. All right, um, here we go. Thank you so much for your letter offering the services of your information systems department students. 
Now you'll notice it wrapped that line for us. We didn't have to hit enter at the end of the line. That's a key difference between a word processor and say a typewriter. It will wrap the lines for you according to the column width that you're working in. Do not hit enter except between paragraphs. You do not have to hit enter mid sentence or even between sentences. Let it line wrap for you. We currently have several projects. that might benefit both us and your students. Okay, we have several positions. Open for students. With skills in the four office applications. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Access. We also need students very capable of working with our IT services help desk. Sincerely, Evelyn Stone, Human Resources Director. All right, so we always want to be comparing what we're doing on screen to what's shown in the pictures in the book. And so I'm just giving this a quick look over. Looks pretty good. You'll notice this blue underline right here. This is not something that we're going to take care of in this lesson, but this is a this is a grammar check. And if you hover over it, maybe I click on it. No, not going to tell me. Um, normally, it would tell you what the problem is, and the problem is that it's uh, it's got it's grammatically questionable. So um, that's why that's underlined in blue. And I believe that we come back to that in a future uh, in a future part of the lesson. All right. So everything's looking good. We're all the way now to step 10, where it tells us to save. Um, now, normally, under File, you can say Save, and it will. if you already have the file saved, it'll just update the save. Um, but if you don't have the file saved, if you hit Save, it works exactly the same as Save As, which is where it allows you to tell it where to save it, and also what to name it. So in this case, it tells us in, in step 11, um, <clears throat> It tells us to save it as last underscore first. Now, this is meant to be your actual name, not uh, the actual words last underscore first. I get that. I get a lot of students who will turn in their assignment uh, with last underscore first, not realizing, oh, you mean my actual name? Yes, that would be good. Thank you. All right. So Nichols Jim Word 01 interns. I'm just saving to my desktop. It tells you in here to save to a particular folder. Um, that actually doesn't matter. Just make sure you you uh, save your your things so you don't lose them. Actually, you know what? I am gonna put it in this folder. Okay. And that is the end of skill number one in Microsoft Word chapter number one for skills for success with Microsoft Microsoft Office 2016.